Hey guys, welcome to this week's Jobs with Jason, your weekly real estate mortgage update. This week, I have my special guest, Mr. Chris Allen. Welcome to the Jobs with Jason. Um, I'll have a couple questions for Chris. He's one of my favorite all-time insurance agents. He's salt of the earth, and I love the fact that he loves to educate our clients. So number one question for Chris. Chris, what does it actually take to get an insurance quote? It's a great question. Uh, it's basically just uh, your personal information. Uh, we're gonna need your address of the new property, your current address, your name, and your birth date. And just with that information alone, we can at least get the quote started and get the process started of getting the homeowner's insurance quote. Cool, perfect. A lot of times you all ask us, what is the house made out of? That makes a little bit of difference as well. Right, yeah, you're gonna have to know if it's a brick veneer, frame, or like vinyl siding, stuff like that. Uh, we're, gonna know, we're gonna wanna know some of those features of the property so we can input that data and get an actual quote. Cool. And what do you see? What's the number one difference when you're comparing costs with different insurance companies? What's the number one thing that changes the, the cost of your annual premium? Yeah, I'd say probably you want to make sure you look at the replacement cost value of the structure. Um, the replacement cost value is going to be what it takes to rebuild the home if you had a total loss. It's not going to be what you paid for the home uh, necessarily, because uh, that can fluctuate with supply and demand and market value. Um, this is just the replacement cost value, which is the uh, features of the home, like the square footage, number of bedrooms, bathrooms, the exterior building material, the roof shape, and the roof material. That'll help us determine what the value of the insurance should be for the replacement cost value. Cool, yeah, I've seen some of these different companies, you see replacement costs just completely different. So therefore it changes it changes your cost or annual premium. Right, yeah, they'll, they'll fluctuate between carriers just because each of them have their own internal replacement cost estimating tool that they use. So they will vary between different carriers. Cool, perfect. And I also see your deductible also changes a lot. Some insurance agents I see, they, uh, they, shop the, they shop the insurance or they'll quote the insurance on a higher deductible than others. So one, one trick is to make sure when you're shopping insurance, just use a 1% deductible, that way everyone's even playing field. Do you agree with that? Right, yeah, we try to start out with the 1%. That's pretty common. That's the most one, common one that you see across the board. Um, you know, if we need to go to get a lower premium, we can't go to a higher deductible at 2%. Um, and some carriers, you know, they'll require that in certain areas and zip codes of the, of the state of Texas. Cool, perfect. So try to keep the deductible same across the board. Lastly, a lot of people don't know there's a difference. There's a captive agent and there's an independent agent, which is what you are. What's the difference and what, what we see different ways? Right, yeah. So the biggest difference between the two is that a captive agent, they're only going to have really one option for you. Um, they're going to get your information, run the quote based off of one product, and that's either going to fit your, you know, your needs for your insurance and your budget, or, or it's not. And you know, if you have a rate increase or something like that down the road, they're going to ask you to either pay the premium or maybe you know you have to go somewhere else. Um, an independent agent or a broker, you know, we have multiple options. You know, over 30 different insurance carriers that actually shop through and uh, find an option that fits your budget and your insurance needs for the property that you purchase. Perfect. Those are three great tactics for you to know about insurance. Chris, you're one of my favorite guys, man. You Thank keep you. up the good work. And if you have any insurance questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'll hook you up with Chris, and we'll get your insurance needs all uh, questions answered for you. Talk to you soon, and have a great day.